Hello people, I'm back in the world of Hawk on my Patreon server, Jim vs the Volcano. Right then, so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the new mod that I've just added. Uh, well, it's the, the Patreons decided it as well. Um, it's the Gaia Beacon Drop. But what is this I hear you ask? You already play with Gaia. Indeed I do. Um, but what they've done now is uh, the loot drops that... Uh, don't seem to be a bat, but the loot drops that uh, drop down. Well, there's one over there. Um, they now contain Gaia items, so it's basically like um, all the little things that you need, like crafting and saddles and things like that. Um, I mean, if you're playing a modded, if you're playing on a modded server or anything like, you're running a mod, the drops can be quite poopy because they're vanilla. Uh, but this time, they they are going to match the mod themselves. Uh, right. Anyway. We're going to take a look at the details uh, of the Steam page and have a little look at that. Uh, and then we're going to go out and get some drops just to get a look and a feel of what we're going to get per drop. Right, see you in a bit. Right then, guys. So this is the Gaia Beacons page on uh, Steam. And as you can see, I'm already subscribed to it. Uh, it's been put onto my server, my Patreon server, and... Um, we shall have a look at that shortly and find out what's in the drops. Right, we'll have a little overview. Um, this mod must be loaded before other mods that remap vanilla beacons. Well, it sort of kind of makes sense because um, it does it. Basically, all the vanilla beacons, it, it's going to override them. Uh, overwrite them, should I say. And, uh, yeah, this mod also requires Gaia since the mod contains the files. <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's just an introduction to say like if you want this mod then you've got to have the uh, the Gaia mod they sort of go hand in hand uh, it's just a nice little addition to have on the um, with the gaming experience early on um, because drops are a must early game you know when you start you're just really struggling with fiber and wood and things and these drops come down you've got like a level of armor and things in it so this is going to contain all the Gaia items uh, that you, you're going to need throughout your, <laughs> your playthrough of this and um, well once you get up, up in there you, you're going to realize that it's completely different uh, right so we'll have a look at the properties remaps vanilla beacons supply drops so they contain Gaia stuff only so you're not going to have uh, anything shoehorned in like uh, fiber. So it's just purely um, useful items in in Gaia mod itself. Uh, we'll go over that once we we'll go out onto the server and have a look at some of the drops and um, find out what the what you get inside each kind of drop as we we go through. Um, Works on surface beacons, uh, the island, the centre, aberration, scorched earth and Ragnarok. Um, I am playing on the volcano, I'm doing a series on the volcano uh, and I've added it to mine and it does do all the uh, surface drops as well. So it's it, any map that does surface drops, uh, it will also add, add to them. Uh, it does not remap cave crates, deep sea crates, or extinction orbital drops. Um, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I mean, it, it's you don't want it to override, especially with the uh, orbital drops, because uh, each of those will probably have stuff that's uh, relevant to that map. Um, so yeah, you don't want to basically strong arm your way into the map and then write some stuff out altogether. Um, but yeah, that's 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 fair enough. Uh, right, the tiers are. I do believe it is the same uh, as the official one. We'll take a look at the official one uh, tab in a minute. But I do believe they are the same for that one. Uh, beacons don't have any end game or OP stuff. Boo! <laughs> Nah, <laughs> to be fair, I think I think that's a wise decision. Um, I mean, drops in general, uh, when you get to a certain level, there's like a tipping point where you just don't bother with them because there is no need. But early game is essential. I mean, even like when you get to level, uh, what, 80, we've got a red drop there. Even when you get to level 80, uh, if you're passing by, you think, ooh, a red drop, I'll, I'll just have a cheeky grab of that. And even though you have 
the materials and things to craft it it's still nice if you're in the area you just you just go and pick it up um so it's just items tools weapons tranks metals uh lesser lesser elixirs and uh, etc so i don't think there's going to be like any uh, of the high-end stuff that you need to craft together but uh, i don't know it's it's early days of this mod as well and um the prome the developer of it he was uh, asking me for feedback and uh, i said I'd, I'd i'd take a little look first before i I start t judging it, but <laughs> it, it's pretty good so far, uh, and I'm enjoying it. Right then, so we've got the, the website, there's links to the website, Discord, and you can also donate as well, um, and chuck a few cheeky pounds to these guys, or dollars, or whatever currency is in your country. Um, yeah, because uh, th the thing is, is, I mean, these guys do it for the love of the game, of course, these devs, and we play it for the love of the game and it's it's kept the game alive it's kept arc the core of arc alive uh because these guys are passionate about the game uh, i mean i love the game and you love the game obviously because you're watching a video about it and uh, yeah it's these guys that keep us going uh so all these little changes and things uh, are quite are quite good but also they come at a cost uh because like our assets 2d art textures and hardware <laughs> and why not a coffee <laughs> yeah we all need coffee the fuel of champions uh, anyway right so that's that in general so uh go to that and subscribe to that and put it on your gaia mod and enjoy the experience the full experience of the gaia mod um uh i think the guy should really do a map <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know that's going to probably uh, stretch it out a little bit, but I think they should. I think they should have a, have a go at making a map. Uh, do that as a little project as well. <laughs> anyway, right, we'll take a look at the drops and see what you get inside the drops. So we'll go through the white ones and everything and all that. Right, we'll just have a look at the, the beacons as well. So this is the uh, wiki for the, the, the beacons. And um, yeah, so there we go. So white is level 3, green is 15, blue 25, purple 35, yellow 45, and red 60. So there we go. Um, so I think he's taking that for the standard one. Scorched Earth, I think you need to be a little higher as well. Um, about that, yeah. But So there, it's, it's there and thereabouts on vanilla. It's sort of a mixture between. So it's not going to be... You're not going to get... To, you're not going to be able to access the red drop straight away. <laughs> Damn it. Right. We'll take a little look then and uh, see what happens. White drop. Pickle. So we have uh, tools. Um, quite good. Bronze pick. So we get a lot. 25% uh, damage and 25% plus harvest. A uh, bowler. Uh, hatchet. Saddle. And uh, various other armor pieces. Nice. Right then, this is the white double. We'll take all. So we got quite a bit in that one. Um, saddle, a Giga Saddle, a Giga Dreadful Saddle. Um, it's not the greatest of armor, but we can still save it. Some more fertilizer. Uh, <laughs> guy scissors. And uh, various different metals. Awesome. Right then, so this is the green drop. We'll have a look in there and take all. all right, so we have um, a stuffed elixir. That's a potion that uh, feeds your dinos, and you never have to feed them again from the trough or collect berries or meat and things. Uh, toxic community, awesome. And uh, crafting. So you have various different things of various different levels. You've got weapons as well and tools. Right, next one. So this is the green double. 
Land dude. Land. Right. Take all. Uh, saddles. Roll rat saddles. Ooh. And uh, various different things. Nice. Um, blue drop. Uh, take all. Uh, various different arm pieces. Uh, some of the hemp bud. <laughs> and uh, Miracle Grow, that's like uh, re-fertilizer. Um, bug repellent. Uh, fertilizer, which is a lot more potent than normal fertilizer. Very much so. Um, fruits and dino repellent. Right. Blue double. Take one. Um, quite a few saddles. So we've got one, two, three saddles. Um, that's a good quality. Oh, let's get out of here. Right. Purple drop. Take all. Uh, various different metals and uh, armor of different rating. Now, some of these metal, um, some of these armors may look like OP, but I can assure you, if you're playing this mod and you have played it, you know that armor like that doesn't last long with these creatures because some of them are crazy powerful. Right. Oh, God. Pull double. Oh, take all. As you can see, we got quite a lot from that one. Yikes. Yellow drop. Take all. Um, a stealth helmet. Uh, some titanium armor. Now this is uh, this is quite this is quite fiery. <laughs> um, but then again, you do have to remember that um, some of these armor ratings. I mean, durability of uh, nearly nine hundred. It won't last long, especially against some of these creatures. Right. Next one. Uh, yellow double. No, 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 you. Okay. You have to be careful some of these. Right. So, saddles and armor and metals. Various different stages, so we've got ore and uh, actual ingots. So we've got steel and titanium. Now, titanium is the one that is quite grindy to make, so that is good to see. Red drop. Let's get stupid deal out. Right. Transfer all. At first look, it didn't seem like we got a lot, but it, in actual fact we did because we got the greater trank arrows. Now these are the the, the top tier ones, the creme de la creme. Um, so that's we get that in a normal drop anyway. Uh, the greater narcotic, we've got eight of them, so that's quite generous. And a stealth helmet. Okay. Right then, this is the last one. So this is the red double. It looks purple, but no, it's red. It's red. And take all. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. So, Mastercraft uh, Demonic Sarko Saddle. Uh, Terror Bird Saddle. Wow. 
titanium stuff. Oh, yeah. And uh, the uh, greater narcotics, greater arrows, and greater tranks. Nice. So it's a good collection there. Uh, as well as the uh, instant health and greater healer. 100% over 30 seconds. They are a must if you if you battle in dinos. They are really are. Uh, titanium ingots. Wow, that is that is a good that is a good drop. Right then, so that is all the drops. Um, I was going to say, where is he? He's over here. So, if I transfer that into there, now this is basically what we have accrued. So this is just by bear in mind guys this is just collecting one of each drop so one white one double white uh one green one double green and so on and so on and so on uh, until we've had all the uh, beacon drops all the uh, shall we say Gaia beacon drops so they're all going to be random and you're probably not going to get the exact same stuff every time but it's it's a mix and it's going to give you an idea of what you're going to get so we do have uh, can we sort by? Oh, it's sorted by weight, yeah. So we do have an array of saddles. Um, so if you got, want to tame something, and obviously if you craft it, these are going to be better quality than the ones you can actually craft yourself. Uh, same goes for armor as well. Um, and we've got some nice useful items as well, like the uh, fertilizer, which is 10 times more potent than the normal vanilla stuff and uh, obviously titanium ingots so i've got 11 ingots just by harvesting each one of these drops so it is random guys it's not like um, you're going to get you're guaranteed to get a certain amount of stuff but as you can see it is a hell of a lot of stuff uh, blueprints and all that lot and different armor right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this back to bit whoop, once i get back on take this back to base uh, and then I'm going to put it in the grinder because the grinder unlocks oh I'm like literally there so I could probably just go as a talk uh, the grinder unlocks at level 65 uh, I know some of the red drops you're not going to get until you're about level 80 um, but the grinder is a must especially on modded uh, on modded servers because the amount of resources you can oh what's happened there well, server. The amount of resources you can actually gain back is uh, quite good. Right, number three. So, set source and we'll put it on you. Right, I did clear it out. Yes, I did. So the grinder is empty. I'll put that in there. So there, they are all the items and I'm going to grind them all. Uh, even that's going to ground up and it's going to show you what we're going to get out of that because that I think that you get about five out of that um, Yeah, and uh, the titanium other things that won't grind up like the potions and the blueprints obviously right well we'll grind all And so now we've got the first grind we've got all these saddles <laughs> Wow yikes and then grind all again that's going to break it down into its further components so as you can see we have got literally like 10,000 fiber 3,000 wood um, 206 pelt uh, we've got a bunch of narco berries and stuff like that we still got as a uh, great narcotics oh yeah we did grind up the arrows and things so that's the thing you probably want to take some of this stuff out uh, and now we have 38 titanium ingots as well as all the souls as well so when you have some of the heavenly and dreadful ones you need souls but when you grind them up you, you can see like how many souls you actually get I mean early game these <laughs> these are crazy to get because it's one it's one dino one soul and uh, if the dino that you are battling could sometimes be a lot powerful than yours as you progress obviously it doesn't become an issue you get better dinos and things like that but uh, yeah so that is that um, did, did we grind that up 
do, do they grind? I don't think they do, do they? Grindall. Do they grind? Grindall? Yeah. No. Right. So they don't grind up, so you can use them anyway. And, uh, yeah. So we, we do. We do. We have. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Where did that come from, then? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so from that little loot drop trip, you can see how much we can actually get out of this. So that is kind of cool. Right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. It was just basically to um, show the new mod that we've added, uh, part of the, the Gaia uh, experience, if you like. So the main Gaia mod is for the dinos for things like this and uh, this so the, the dreadful and uh, heavenly uh, but now they have added loot drops and uh, it makes all the difference it really does because um, normally when you play on a modded um, I think I've said this before but it's like when you get uh, when you get the loot it's it's not very good it's not entirely helpful <laughs> initially so you tend to forget them i mean i am a, at a decent level now i'm at uh, level 105 and i can get uh, pretty much all the resources i want especially having the grinder as well uh, i got that soon as as <laughs> uh, but early days I, I don't think i even touched uh the beacon drops at all and uh it's a shame really because it's it's part of like the arc experience it's it's part of the struggle uh but the stuff that you get in vanilla when you're on modded is basically kind of useless because um everything's sort of overpowered and there are better things you can actually craft in modded uh over vanilla even in the early stages so anything that's going to help early stages of modded is uh, most welcome right guys uh, tell me what you think uh, in the comments below um are you going to add it to your server um i can't see why not because <laughs> it's awesome and uh, as before i will leave links uh in the description below so you can um you can visit the steam page and uh, get it from there and uh from there you can also Click on the links and join the developers discord and that great great bunch of guys uh, most helpful and uh yeah so all that's left me to do is to wave and see you in the next one